fucks is rustling back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just congratulations. You know, we're heading towards big and beautiful things. You know, a lot of us are starting new chapters or a lot of us are on our way of starting new chapters. And big, big ups and congrats to you. And, you know, more things are coming your way. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light. And many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you've been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. Even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, I would love to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. So drop me a line or two. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, or you're just up, tell me about your impact to give how it impacted your life and hitting you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos are giving you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, please go ahead and do so. Or even a fellow empath that are going through some really, you know, trying times right now and need confirmation towards their life path or even their soul purpose, you know, go ahead and share. While you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on the social media favorites wherever you see fit. Once again, thank you so much for the love and support. I love y'all from the bottom of my heart. And I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video. And today, um... My uh, meditation music is meditation music to bring positive changes. Let go of the negative energy uh, music, oneness with God. And I will go ahead and post this. That link in the description box below. And today my video is about Twin Flame 101. Hey, Okas, ancient ones are helping uplift you at the, at the current moment. Yes, they truly are. You know, um, it's just a blessing with me, be, me being able to have like the spiritual gift of clairvoyance, uh, clairincience, I think that's what it's called, and clairaudience. You know, all these different things that are applied, they're getting really heightened. So it's just a lot of, a lot of them, your ancient ones, you know, like fellow ancestors, people from our tribe from many, many years ago are assisting us to help us go towards that next chapter um we're heading towards something very big that's coming in our life and like i've told others um i don't know if everybody's seen that video but um all the different things that have, we've been heading towards you know we all have this gut feeling that something's new is about to come towards us a lot of people think it's the rapture a lot of people think it's the end of the world but it's not it's like we're going to be coming one more of ourselves like powerful like what we were before we came here is about to be is about we're going to come one with ourselves but we're going to be in human form but we're also bringing that spirit from you know from where we start we signed a contract for this life so uh i've been getting a lot of visions dealing with those things so it's just like i'm seeing kind of like if anybody in my days because see i was born in the 70s late 70s so if anybody remember the uh cartoon like she-ra or he-man and stuff like that a power gray skull and you see that big you know uh sword and everything and you see all that light coming down that's basically what the you know that's what i've been seeing with the empaths it's like you are becoming more powerful you're becoming more intuitive more um focus you know a lot of times we might feel ourselves steering one way and it's just like it, it will have you like like different temperatures your your ten, uh, temperature of body temp might go really cold really really hot you might get you constantly have like it feel like dry ice coming from the top of your head to the bottom of your feet and come back and constantly getting chills this and this and that you might feel vibrations going through your body um eyes are changing my eyes are starting to change a lot lately um, nails are growing, hair is growing a lot faster. Uh, you know, um, your face is probably getting clearer. I know with me, um, my face is starting to get a lot clearer, but I'm actually looking a lot younger as well. So it's just really crazy. Uh, a lot of us are getting drained a lot easier because our energy is like recycling. So it's like a lot of times we might have to take more frequent naps than we used to. You probably have to uh, meditate a lot more because it's like you're, you're bringing energy and taking it back. Bring energy and taking it back and you're attracting energy as well. So it's going to have you all jacked up. So it's just like, it's, it's, it might sound like a, a curse more than a blessing. Like, dang, you feel like I'm having a damn flu. No, it's actually not. It's like you're, you're, it's like you're getting a tune up. You know what I'm saying? So it's, I'm trying to find an easy way to say it because I'm, keep getting downloads as well as I'm doing my videos so it's like really crazy I'm talking really fast because I'm getting downloads and so it's like I always ask you know creator give me the words of wisdoms that you want me to place upon my videos give me the knowledge you need me to be able to tell my YouTube family 
things that they need to look for so there's a lot of things you're coming very intuitive with uh, you probably whatever gift you have right now I always tell people especially if you come in my way you know and there's more people coming my way I have not prepared myself for but I feel their energy heading towards my way there's a lot more coming this way that you know they're trying to find out why am I like this you know or you already knew since you were a child you were that special when you probably were off to yourself very quiet you know you stood off for yourself and you even spoke differently because there's a lot of people that I know they're in a young age and I, I look at like mother hen towards them they're my like my little brothers and sisters they come towards my way and they're very outspoken you know they got this oh I'm like why you talk so damn old you know and they're like in their 20s I said but you talking like you're about 80 that's because you are old soul and a lot of times you know we have that assistance where you find like that that god parent you know the, your spiritual god parent is guiding you towards this next next chapter a lot of different things are coming towards with that you know the ancient ones there's a lot of us that are you know have our ancient guys that are coming with us i feel mine a lot you know um it's allowing me to see a lot of my past lives they're probably allowing you to see your past life things are starting to look familiar but it's not very outdated so all these different things are occurring towards the surface you know you're getting rid of a lot of things that you know you used to do you're not really feeling like you're into it no more you're feeling very detached from your old life because we're starting this new chapter so it's just a lot of different things that are occurring that is like very mystical as well as beautiful as well. It's just how you have to look at it because it could be frustrating to somebody if they're healing from, you know, if they're still healing from their spiritual awakening. Because with me, it's like all these different things have occurred in my life. And it really took me a while to actually see it as a positive other than a negative. Because, you know, there was a few weeks ago, I'm like, I feel like I'm being punished. You know, these are the things. But when I really seen it for what it was. You know, you have to really look at uh, the spiritual awakening as a life lesson. You know, anything that you're weak in, like you, you don't, you, you, it's hard for you to be able to communicate with people. Um, you question yourself. You know, you question your ability. You question your power. All these things. I've had this issue, having you know, not confidence in myself, feeling that I have what it took to do what I do. You know, and I get those. You know, I get confirmations about it all the time either when I'm doing emails with other people, talking one-on-one -on -one with other people, or even just as here, you know, really talking about things that are really relating to a lot of people that are going through different things. You know, a lot of my love bugs has been with me almost, you know, since day one. And it's truly a blessing when you have people, you know, still having your back for that long. You know, I've seen a lot of my beautiful family members my soul brothers, my soul sisters, that really went through some trying times. And they have did an absolute 360. I'm so proud of y'all. Y'all know who y'all are. And, you know, we're really going through things. It's a daily process. You know, there was, we, we dealt with a lot. But you have to understand, before we came to this life, we were powerful, power, 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 powerful. We were like uber gods and stuff like that. You have to understand. But when you came back down to earth, you know, we get tired of this, like, God, dog, I got to go back again. And you feel like you're being punished when you're up in the you know, spiritual realm. So you have to really understand, you know, when you came back here to play this part one more time, they, they, they had to wipe your memory out because you can't, you have to be able to figure everything all over again. And, you know, you know, there's things that might seem familiar. There's like a lot of people that I've been connecting with and I see you know, oh my God, you're this, and oh my God, you're that. And like I said, there's a whole bunch of the evolutionary um, empaths are starting to get recruited, as well as going through their switches. They're they're having a lot of uh, spiritual switches popped off right now. So, you know, you might be coming more in tune. You might be speaking a different way that you usually don't. You know, all these different gifts are, you know, just going on with you. There's truly a blessing. And some, if you have to, like I said, you have to look at it in a positive frame of mind. Because if you're still dealing with a lot of old stuff and everything, or you're occurring, you probably getting the signs like, hey, new stuff is coming your way. You know, you're about to step one into yourself. You're, you're ascending. But, you, you know, you're probably still going through Kundalini, Ascension, Dark Knight of the Soul. Because there's people like, sis, sus. You know, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm living in, um, so, uh, you know, South. <laughs> they were like, sus, how many times do I got to keep going through this? Enough times for it's going to be where you're going to let that mess go. Because if you're still doing the same thing you were doing, you're going to keep going around in that hamster wheel. And it's going to get tired to you to the point when you start seeing everybody elevate and you still doing the same old thing, you can't, flat, you can't blame nobody but yourself. Only people that can stop us is us. Fear is nothing but fear itself. 
allow that mess to be gone because I had to tell myself there's nothing you can fear okay you got insecurities okay hell nobody ain't perfect you know we're all doing different things to better ourselves if you know you're changing your life for the better you don't like it you have that power to change your frame of mind change of how you're looking at it change of what how you respond out to it change of how you look you know it's all these different things you have that power to be able to do because a lot of times we feel like we're in stagnation or we feel like we're stuck and we're not able to get out because if you keep looking at it that way you actually you have the power just to be able to walk away you might be stuck in a situation but there's things that you had to learn like I look at mine there were so many things that educated me like I can really get on one-on-one -on -one with you and you know I can tell you some things that I you know went through without really going into really good detail but you know a lot of you have known about the things you know there are my videos you know I don't go keep being redundant about things I can just say the things that have occurred into my life has really blessed me on so many levels you know it had me being able to look at things because you know when I looked at it in that way I felt like you know damn my dad died you know my family you know used me for this 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 and that my life was altered and then all these things came fluttering to me all at once after my dad died so there was a lot of different things that have occurred to me but then when I started looking at it in a different way everything is not always what it seems you have to be able to look at it that way there's things that are happening behind the scenes you may not see because a lot of times I was so focused on that negative I was so focused on my dad's dead my dad's dead my dad's dead you know these people lied to me these people lied to me instead of seeing what is the problem at hand what are the things because a lot of times there was you know that we're placed in situations not for us to change that situation but allow that situation to change us us I just came out with a video the other day about that you know a lot of times you have to be able to look at the things that you've gone through as you know it, Yes, it's a messed up situation you have gone through. But you have to be able to tell yourself, sit down with yourself in a quiet time. You know, when you wonder, why did I have to go through this? Why did it occur? Why did y'all allow this to happen? What is it trying to teach me? What is the lesson that, you know, I need to know? So when you sit with yourself and ask all these questions about the situations you that occurred in your life or is occurring or has happened or is currently happening, you, universe will allow you to have those answers or things will start unfolding in front of you and you're like oh 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 damn I'm slow I've been that way did a video about that too we don't did so many different light years or you know we're doing the same life except in different positions because there are so many things we did not learn like I said this is the the general curse uh, general curse uh, generation they are going to be cutting those cords. There's karmic cycles we're also cutting as well. Because it took us so long, we have did these things. Like, God, dog, why does it feel like I've known you from somewhere else, but we played the same daggone situation? But, you know, it was, it was just like different ways, but we had to learn the same thing, and we did not learn it until now. You're like, oh, gosh. And it is like with my situation, I'm like, dang, I was really slow, slow. I was really slow. Like, how come I didn't understand this before? I would have been able to do this like 5,000 times. But all these things are occurring to where you have that ancient one. Everybody has that ancient one that gives you, that steers you into a right direction. Or they'll tell you, they whisper over your shoulder, hey, pay attention to this. Or hey, go talk to that person over there. Or oh, check that book out. Or hey, why don't you watch this movie? Or hey, you know, go towards that person and help that person. You know, a lot of things, that's what our ancient, you know, our ancient ones are also helping us with because there's so many things that, you know, are occurring into our life that we truly need to be able to know. So all these things are happening. Being able to, you know, meditate, become one with yourself, be out in nature, get grounded. All these different things that is occurring into your life you truly need to have the answers to, you will eventually get or they're coming to you and have to really be able to pay attention to the signs. It can come to you within numbers. It can come to you within somebody speaking something and you were just talking about it the other day. I've had so many incidents like this happen. Like I was talking to a sister a sister friend of mine and talking about how I wanted to go to New Orleans again. I remember having um, different visions about back in the 1800s where there was Dauphine Lalaure and there was Marie Laveau. There was a whole bunch of different situations that's going on with that. And the next thing you know, I'm watching a YouTube channel named Snarled. And they're talking about, you know, Daphne Lalari. And they show her house. And I was like, whoa, this was just like probably about 10, 15 minutes ago. And I was talking about this. And it's not, you know, I watched the video, but it wasn't like in particular, I'm going to remember it, whatever show. I mean, because it's like Snarled uh, with uh, Sapphire. She does like 
do one story or she did a compilation and that was a compilation so it was just a lot of things that are manifesting in me that felt coming to forefront not even like probably a couple of days if it's with somebody else or with me or it can happen right you know within a couple of minutes so it's just a lot of things were coming into our power for when you can be able to believe in yourself knowing that you've been placed in a situation yes it's not it's not going to be easy never, nobody never said it was but if you know you're working towards something you really want in your life you have to also know universe is going to put you among different tests you know the devil's going to say oh you know if i throw this negativity in there they're going to say focus on this this and this and that god and universe creator like no you know not my children you know they have learned they're growing they're strong it's like they're going on with these little tug of war bets so they'll place you in certain situations to see are you going to react the way you used to react or are you going to come with the new stuff like you got to be able to play the fool on the fool to be able to re react with the fool you have to really understand that you got to play a full game so it's like all these different things that are occurring into your life you have to be able to one up stuff so you know all these things are coming in pay attention to your dreams pay attention to your daydreams pay attention to the things that are coming to you through visions you know a lot of people you know they meditate they smoke herbs that's how they get towards their higher self and so many different things are coming towards them is a way i used to do that but now since i'm actually natural to be able to do it i don't do any kind of stimulants i don't do any kind of addictions i just do it naturally myself right now because i had that confidence in myself that i didn't need liquor i didn't need cigarettes i didn't need weed to be able to do the things that i'm not actually doing now you know being able to deal with all my my issues and problems cry it out get pissed off go you know having little discussions with universe like hey we need to talk because we all over the place and i need to be here you know we have we have to have those conversations like you trying to tell me to decipher this and i'm really not understanding you you know we have to have those little talks so all these things are occurring in your life for a reason. We're all stepping into a new day and age. We're all being elevated. We're all coming in tune and we're getting recruited for all these different things. There's more people that's coming up in the upgrade with these evolutionaries. And the evolutionaries is some bad sh mother shut your mouth. So all these different things are coming on. And as soon as I said that, my phone lit up. So obviously that's, that's occurring for some of the people. So being able, listen to the signs. I tell people lately, See the unseen. Listen to the things that are not being spoken, but you'll be able to hear it through your, you know, your heart chakra, your third eye, your crown. All these different things are coming through different chakras that allow you to do these things. Even people's sexuality has been heightened. you probably be ready to hump a daggone tree if you had to. Those things are starting to occur as well. So don't get alarmed. These things are changing you. So it's changing your chakras. You know, the sacral chakra is probably, you know, a little bit sensitive and all this stuff your imagination go wild with you so all these different things are occurring so be able to pay attention to what is not being seen things uh pay attention listen to the things that are not actually being said as well so i hope everybody has a black uh blast. saying blessed and great weekend that's what i meant to say Ain't trying to wish no bad stuff on nobody. So I hope and pray that everybody's having a blessed, safe weekend, doing everything, you know, being able to relax, send out as much love and light and positivity as you possibly can. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, forever loved, knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I'm giving a post notification shout out to Richard Mora, uh, Ray Fisher. Much love to you as well and Treasure Seasons. And I will see you on my next video. Like and subscribe. Drop me a line and let me know. Are you having all these strange things occur with you? Knowing that your, you know, your future ancestors, I mean your past ancestors are really assisting you along this path. And I will see you on my next video. Thumbs up, share, like and subscribe. You know, pass on, tell the word. And I will see you on my next video. No, sit out. Love and light, positivity. You never know your kind words can really, you know, take somebody a long way. Much love. Peace.